All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to work with fractions, decimals, mixed numbers, improper fractions, and percents, all on the TI-34 multi-view. Up until now, I used to use the TI-30X, uh, but now the TI-34 multi-view, it does everything that I needed to do in regards to quickly working with fractions and decimals and all these other things as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Fractions. Let's consider the fraction one-fourth. So I'm going to type in one. I'm going to press this ND. Think of that as your fraction key. And that stands for numerator denominator. And when you press that, then you press the four. Uh, we have one-fourth. Now when you're done typing things into your fraction, you need to make sure you press the right arrow to get out of your fraction. That way if you wanted to come and add or multiply or something like that, you can go ahead and apply that operation. But let's just talk about this fraction a little bit. One fourth is the same thing as 0.25. Now one way you can quickly get a decimal is just to take one divided by four and boom, we get 0.25. Um, but what you notice here is when I use the one fourth and I pressed enter, it gave me one fourth. So sometimes, you know, you might not have, you might just have a fraction and you want to quickly get a decimal without having to do the division. Well, if we come back and do this 1ND4, uh, there's our 1 fourth. We can convert this to a decimal just like this by pressing the second and pressing the ND button. Notice above the ND key you have a F and a D. Basically what this will do is it'll convert back and forth between a fraction and a decimal. So 1 fourth is a fraction. It's going to convert it to a decimal. Notice we get 0.25. It's the exact same thing. Suppose you have a decimal sometimes and you want to go back to a fraction. Well, what we can do with this, even if this is over here at our answer, I can press second and ND again, and it's going to take this last answer that we got, and it's going to convert it back into a fraction. So as you can see here, we do have one-fourth. And we can go back and forth by pressing second and the ND key, and we can go back and forth between this fraction to this decimal, or we can go from that decimal to the fraction. So that's a quick way to convert back and forth between fractions and decimals. And this works for ones uh, like a 3 divided by 8. That is 3 eighths. Notice if I do 3 in D8, so 3 eighths is our fraction. Now I should be able to get this same decimal by doing second in D. And notice 3 eighths is going to give me that same decimal I just got a moment ago by taking 3 divided by 8. So, you know, quick little calculator shortcuts there for converting back and forth between fractions and decimals. Now let's look at an improper fraction. An improper fraction is where we have a bigger number over a smaller number. For example, 11 over 4. So if I do 11 over 4, 11 ND4, and I press enter, your calculator may show this, it might not show this, um, it depends. But notice 11 over 4 is 2 and 3 fourths. Now let's go to mode real quick and let's look at some of the settings in our mode. Um, I'm gonna, this stuff, some of this stuff I'm not going to talk about too much, but uh, make sure it's set to math print. I should have mentioned this stuff sooner. And now, depending on which one of these you have it set to, whether you have UND, this stands for a mixed number, whereas ND just stands for a straight up fraction, whichever one of these you have it set to is what the calculator is automatically going to give you as an answer. Now, another thing too, Let's go ahead and put this on auto simp. Auto simp will automatically simplify your fractions. I'll show you that stuff in a second too. But notice if I quit, if I press second mode, I typed in an improper fraction, but it returned a mixed number because two and three fourths is the same thing as 11 fourths. So let me clear this out. Let me do it one more time. 11 ND4 is going to give me this mixed number. If I go back to mode and I scroll down here to where I had that UND, if I change this to the ND setting, Watch this. So I got it changed to that. I press enter on it. Notice this is the black one now. I'm going to quit and I'm going to do 11 ND4 again. And notice what it gives me now. It doesn't give me the mixed number. It gives me the improper fraction. Now to be quite honest with you, it doesn't matter which setting you have it set to because of this. What we can do, just like we did second ND, this will convert anything from a fraction to a decimal. Uh, we can also take an improper fraction and convert it to a mixed number by doing second UND. Second UND. So if I press enter, notice it's going to take this improper fraction, convert it to a mixed number, and then I can press second UND again. It's going to take our mixed number and convert it to an improper fraction. So notice we have an FD, and then we have this ND UND. So it's going back and forth between our improper fraction and our mixed number. That's how we can quickly convert back and forth between those. Not only that, we can tie in the FD piece now. 
11 over 4, that is a mixed number. If we do second nd, it's going to take this thing and convert it to a fraction. Or excuse me, and convert it to a decimal. So notice I have 2.75. Now, if I take this and convert it back into a fraction, it's going to give me the improper fraction of 11 fourths. Well, let's convert this again back to a mixed number. That's going to be second the und. Notice we now have 2 and 3 fourths. And if we take this and convert this to a fraction, or excuse me, if we convert it to a decimal, 2 and 3 fourths, we've already seen this, is 2.75. All of these things are the exact same thing. 11 over 4 is the same thing as 2 and 3 fourths. 2 and 3 fourths is the exact same thing as 2.75. So I hope that makes sense there. Many ways that we can convert back and forth between fractions, decimals, mixed numbers, and improper fractions. But something I have failed to mention is, what if you have a mixed number such as uh, 5 and 7 eighths. This is a mixed number. How do we type in a mixed number? This is where the UND button, not pressing second in UND, but just press this button right here. If we press that, it's going to give you certain spots that you have to fill in. So I can fill in the 5 there, the 7 there, and the 8 there. And if I press enter, now remember the setting I had in mode? I put it back on the ND setting in mode when I come down here. Remember this? I have it on ND, so if I type in a mixed number, it's going to return to me an improper fraction because of the setting I have here. But again, it doesn't matter what setting, honestly, you have it set to because I can convert this back to a mixed number by pressing second UND. This is the setting that will go back and forth between a mix, or excuse me, uh, improper fraction to a mixed number, or I can take this mixed number and convert it back to an improper fraction. So I hope that makes sense there. Now, what's some other things that we can do? Uh, da, 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 5 and 7 eighths or the 47 over 8 we can convert this to a decimal that's going to be 5.875 just like I can take my 5 and notice I'm pre typing in 5 first now I'm going to do UND the 5 is already recognized as being my big number my whole number on the outside when I press that UND there so you know 5 and 7 eighths I can convert this to a decimal quickly as well and notice it's giving me the exact same answer because 47 over 8 is the same thing as 5 and 7 eighths, and these are the exact same thing as 5.875. So quick button presses here to convert back and forth between fractions, decimals, mixed numbers, improper fractions, etc. The last thing to talk about is the percent. And now this is a new feature on the 34 versus the TI-30X. What we can do now is we can take a percent, 50%, and there's your percent key right there. And when I do that, it's going to automatically give me the decimal representation. So if I do, now really the way you do this is we're just moving the decimal two places to the left. So if I type in 47.2560%, it's going to return 0.47256 because all it's really doing is dividing by 100 or moving the decimal two places to the left. Now something else we can do though, we can take this decimal and we can convert it back to a percent. Notice we have a fr uh, little arrow to percent. So anything you get that's not a percent and you want to convert it to a percent, suppose we want to convert this back to this percent, we press second and the percent key and notice, boom, it converts it right back to a percent. Not only that, let's be careful with this here. Suppose we have one fourth. One fourth is the same thing as 0.25. So notice I'm converting this to a decimal. Now, 0.25, if you have a fourth of something, like a fourth of a pizza, or if you have a fourth of a dollar, you really have 25%. So, one-fourth is 0.25. I can convert that to a percent, and notice it's going to return 25%. Well, we can also do that directly from a fraction. So, if I have one-fourth, and I want to convert this, notice I use my right arrow to get out of my fraction. If I want to convert this to a percent, Check it out, it still returns 25% because a fourth of something is 25%. But be careful here. One fourth is not the same thing as one fourth of a percent. A fourth of a percent is hardly nothing at all because that's not even 1%. So watch this, if I do one fourth percent, I'm not converting it. Now be careful where you type in that percent too. I need to put it out here on the outside of the fraction. 
but one fourth of a percent is very, very, very little of whatever you're trying to do because one fourth of a percent is not even one percent. Notice this decimal it gives to you here. A fourth of a percent is not the same thing as converting one fourth to a percent. You have to be careful how you're messing around with your percents there. I want you to be careful with that. What's this really? If we convert this to a fraction, a fourth of a percent is really going to be taking that decimal and converting it to a fraction. That is going to be one out of 400. Imagine taking a pizza and cutting it into 400 slices. That's going to be some really small slices unless you got a really big pizza. You're only getting a fourth of a percent. Whereas if you get a fourth of a pizza, you're getting 25%. Be careful with your percents there. But, um, you know, the, that's how we can juggle uh, back and forth between fractions and decimals and percents and mixed numbers. All of that stuff can be tied into here. And to bring it all together, let's look at one more thing. Let's look at two and a half. Now, be careful. I didn't type that in right. So I'm going to do two UND one over two. Two and a half. That's the same thing as five over two as a improper fraction. So we got a mixed number. We got an improper fraction. Well, if you got two and a half of something, what about if we convert this thing to a percent? That's going to be 250% because if you have two and a half pizzas, you've got 250% of a whole pizza. One whole pizza, well, heck, you've got two and a half whole pizzas. So uh, that's 250%. That's a big difference versus this right here. Two and a half percent. I'm not converting to a percent. Be careful where you type in the percent. Make sure you put it on the outside. This is going to be very little. Two and a half percent, this right here is going to be no different than me saying 2.5%, which is very little. But notice those two things are the same because two and a half is the same thing as 2.5, but with a percent, that's going to be 0.025. What fraction is that? What is two and a half percent of something? So with this decimal showing, if we press second and ND to convert that decimal to a fraction, that is actually going to be one out of 40. Take a pizza, cut it into 40 equal slices. If you get one of those 40 slices, you have 2.5% of that pizza. And yeah, there you have it. That's how you can convert fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions, uh, improper fractions to mixed numbers, mixed numbers back to decimals, and also throwing in a few percents there. All of this can be done uh, by learning a few button presses on the TI-34 Multiview. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.